to Wikimania. I'm Stefan from Germany. Uh, I think some people know me better as, as Fuzzy, that's my nickname, derived from my second name. I want to give you a short introduction to our Wiki Voyage bubble and how we use Wikidata in our project. So as a start, oh, just some information about myself. Yeah, <clears throat> I started editing in 2005 and then I created with some uh, other friends the Wiki Voyage project and I led it to the um, Wikimedia Foundation in 2012 and since then we are part of the family and there are two contacts because I want to introduce some of our modules that use Wikidata and if you have questions you can contact these two guys or at the bottom that's me and my colleague Roland and if you have questions you can drop us a line. A very, very short uh, look back because maybe somebody, uh, not everybody knows it, um, that before we uh, became a family member, we had an own database created when we run the WikiVoyage project for ourselves. It was called uh, Location Database. It's, of course, not that big as Wikidata is now, but it was quite useful. This database um, saved the geographical hierarchy, the interwiki links and the coordinates at that time. And of course, this database died when we moved our project uh, to the Wikimedia servers. Why Wikidata? Yes, of course, we were anxiously waiting for the database because we have many information that are just short facts or short values and like addresses, phone numbers, coordinates, opening hours, features of place, crime data. And um, a special, very special to Wiki Voyage is that we are not um, urgently need uh, sources or references. So we can live with articles without it. And uh, one of the big advantages is that we are small communities. So if somebody adds some information, we can see it easily in all language versions. So that's a big good support for us. To give you an overview of how we use Wikidata, this, there are some statistics. We have articles that have 350 database accesses in one article. Uh, in the past, it happens that we got timeouts when our articles were passed, but at the, at the moment, the performance is quite good. You see two of our articles, which use Wikidata quite heavily, so you, you can see we have in Vienna 250 templates called WeCard that all use Wikidata. And so you have some uh, information how much we use it. This is just a screenshot of one article. It's a small article, but I have marked all the information that comes from Wikidata in one article. So you may have a good overview, a visual impression, um, how, how we use it and and maybe you can see that the half of the information are not directly in the article, but that are fetched from Wikidata. Yeah, of course, there are some challenges uh, that we faced in the past or still face. So, of course, spam and vandalism, that's normal. People have to fix it. Um, it can happen that values are deleted or changed. Sometimes unintentionally, but I think the community and some bots can fix it. The second uh, challenge is the changes of data models. We used uh, Wikidata from the beginning. So um, it can happen that you write a module that works today and tomorrow. It doesn't work properly because the data model and the information change. So I wrote an... Um, as an example, I wrote um, a module that uh, finds to every place on this earth the, the first level province of a country. And meanwhile, there are additionally 
additional properties they, uh, that I have to process that makes the whole process a little bit more difficult. Second example is the OSM. In the past, we could uh, save only relations, but later on, OSM entities were possible, but just with a prefix. But now we have separate properties for every information. So big data is changing permanently, and if you write a module, you have to sometimes um, <clears throat> improve your modules as well. So sometimes it can be quite difficult to find the right value. We have ranks, um, like preferred, normal, and deprecated ranks, but um, sometimes the preferred value is not the right value. It can happen that uh, a value this is pre has, a, has a preferred rank, but uh, it has an end date. There are qualifiers, starting date or end date. So you, have, you can have a value that is preferred, but actually outdated. So what, how to handle this? There are many decisions to make how you handle these uh, data. And yet, these qualifier that's just called off, but uh, in the meantime, it shouldn't be used any longer. So sometimes if you, if you want to fetch some information from Wikidata, you have to run analysis, how, how is it saved in Wikidata. So that, that's why we noticed that we need several uh, modules depending on the data type we want to get from Wikidata. So I wrote um, modules for every uh, data type. Even simple string values can be difficult. As you can see, the postal code of the Malaysian province Sabah is saved as a range value, just, just a normal string. And if you look to Chiang Mai, you have a big list. And this, this big list can make your info boxes uh, blasting. So uh, we had to create uh, a module that fetches strings. And you can, in this uh, example, you can give uh, a limit of values. And if the, the count of values is bigger than the limit, then this module creates a range value. So you can see in our info box on the left side, the huge list of Chiang Mai is reduced to such a range value. Different problems can, can happen if you want to have uh, numbers. The problem can be, um, especially uh, if you are, have information from US, they have, are not in the value in the unit that you want. Sometimes values are saved in miles or feet and the German Wiki Voyage wants to have meters and kilometers. And so I, I have implemented a automatic conversion. You can say which unit you want. And if it's not saved on Wikidata and that unit, it uh, takes it makes a conversion for you and then it you get your information get displayed in the unit you want to have like the area and altitude um, the next feature are our get item modules so if if you have an item on wikidata as, as a value so you you have the option to see just the text like the bonus program of Thai Airways or if you want, you can get a link provided. And the link uh, that is provided has a priority. Uh, the first priority is that the, the link goes to the German Wiki Voyage if an article exists. If not, it uses the German Wikipedia. And if this one fails, it goes over to the local Wikipedia. So if you have an article about Thailand, it would go to the uh, Thai article in that case. Yeah, we have special modules for getting images to be put in the info boxes um, if you want these uh, flags or coat of arms or seals. You can easily just use the first letter if you write in your info box. Ah, okay. Thanks. 
Um, so you can just use in the parameters the first, the first letter and then it will show us code of arms or flex or something. And a special features are the location maps. You can uh, choose for the whole wiki which kind of maps you want to see. So uh, there is a priority list of collections and in the German wiki voyagers decided uh, to use the green ones, the green orthographic maps, but just uh, by changing the item in this, uh, this one parameter, so you can change all articles uh, at the same time and display another location map. And we have a special module that climbing up the geographical hierarchy on Wikidata and it determines the first level province of every town in, the, in, in every country. So, and we have a few uh, modules that are designed just for one purpose because uh, some information are um, <coughs> more, more complex, like uh, web links. So, we add, the, we add automatically the language of the website and the module tries to fetch the best one for your purpose. So, in this priority, you can fetch the German website or English one and if you don't find it, you get a local one. And there are of course some very special uh, entities like, uh, like capitals. Special um, example is South Africa that has three different capitals. So it's for formatted and fetched and you get even then the, the kind of capital. Um, all our modules um, can be used within the text and it has an option to be a part of the info boxes. So you can just start an info box with an open opening template and then just add one of these modules and get your content displayed. If you use a parameter and, uh, and leave the value out, then it's fetched from Wikidata, but you can give also a local value, which is displayed in that case instead of Wikidata. But in the background, there's a comparison with Wikidata. So the result of this comparison is, is showed in, I, I made some uh, screenshot of the HTML. So you can see mm, that the result is shown in, in classes. And if you use a gadget, so you can color the information. Also, it's shown in the tooltip. So if you open an article and see it in red or green, then you know if it's green, the, the value on Wikidata is the same as in a local wiki, so, so you can just remove it in a local wiki. Or if it's red, you can decide, um, should I fix uh, Wikidata? or is my local value the wrong one, so I can just delete it as well and use Wikidata in future. And because we use these classes, so maybe in the next step, uh, step could be to develop some gadgets or features that use these classes and make for you a form that uh, uses the API of Wikidata to, to change uh, the information easily, so you don't have to go over to Wikidata and it's easier for newbies just to add Wikidata from here. That could be the next step, that's why we have implemented it and I think it's uh, quite useful. So the biggest module is our Wikard, it provides information uh, about all places that, that are in articles, restaurants, uh, museums, temples, whatever. This module creates all the information. It creates the pin on the cartographer's map. It, 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 it creates microformats for external tools to save automatically the addresses or phone numbers. It formats the phone numbers that you can easily call or Skype to this place. And there's an info box that you can create. It's just a button that is quite useful uh, on a mobile version when you, when you are in a 
foreign town and just jump into a taxi, it creates for you this, this text for the taxi driver. So the, the article recognizes, okay, I'm an article in Thailand, so it creates even in Thai language, please take me to this place. <laughs> So I think it's quite useful when you are on travel, just to show the taxi driver, yeah, take me there, please. So wishes, of course, uh, with our experience, we have some wishes meantime. Sometimes um, the, the interface is qu uh, quite difficult, especially for newbies, it's still, I have to say, quite nerdy. So. What we uh, urgently uh, would need is a coordinate picker. You still have to copy it from anywhere in, in, inside the form. And even if you see you have different uh, inputs for, uh, for date uh, values that result in different uh, values on Wikidata. So if you try to type gen, it, it's just created with date if you uh, why January? Yeah, it's, it's the German one. It's just the month. So, and the uh, date uh, output is with localization, but if you want to type in uh, local values, it's not recognized. So the German October is shown to you, but you cannot input it. And sometimes it's quite tricky if you copy it from, from other websites, there are non-breaking spaces that are not recognized as really spaces. So maybe there is uh, still some space for improvement. And if you type after every single letter, it's a lot of uh, internet traffic. If, if you have a low uh, internet, it can be, yeah, you need some patience, <laughs> patience to, to input your data. Okay. So, and of course, I think these wishes uh, are from several communities. It would be very nice to, to edit uh, Wikidata from outside or from the local wiki. I don't know how the current developments are on that side. And of course, mobile editing is not, I've tried it on my way here and it, actually it's not really possible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that would be cool if, if you can add your data mob on mobile. So the next problem is we have a lot of information that we use regularly. So if you, if you use a model several times, you have an access to internet several times. There are many information that are needed all the time in one article. So it's like, it's like calling codes, ISO codes, and uh, phone area codes. At the moment we do, we make a, a Sparkle request and then we copy it to an editor, format it as a Lua table and then save the Lua table in our local wiki. So we have an easier access to this information. It would be cool to have a tool, I don't know if some exist, I ask around that can do it automatically create a Lua table and save it, maybe as a cron job or a bot. I don't know if a bot ex exists at the moment, but at the moment it's, it's more uh, manual work to copy this information. But to reduce uh, um, the access, it's quite useful to have some permanent information in your local wiki. And uh, one thing uh, that would be useful is some better functions, so uh, some Lua functions. We have at the moment just get the best statement, but if, uh, if you remember the problem at the beginning, uh, the best statement is not the current one, always. Maybe that it would be useful to have a Lua function that gets uh, the, the, the most recent value. And other information like the last edit date is not available via Lua, just via APA. There are some wishes we have at the moment currently. Yeah, and constraints. I, I, saw, I, I think it, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, there are more discussions about constraints. Do we have some more or should we have some more or not? We would like to have some more, but I know not, not everybody wants. <laughs> 
and of course more data. One one data that we miss is climate data. We want we would like to create this climate diagrams, but at the moment we have uh, no information about that uh, on Wikidata, and it would be useful uh, to have some. I got the question in the meantime. Do, do you have an idea how for how client communities could coordinate better with the Wikidata community regarding data model changes? Oh, at the moment, not really. It's quite difficult. Uh, you have to, to, to browse around many discussion sites on the properties. Yeah, an idea at the moment, uh, not, <laughs> I have to admit. But there, there's Lydia, maybe you know something about it? Um, I have some ideas. Um, one of the things that came up earlier in a different context, uh, also modeling challenges, um, was to do uh, one of those uh, community days that we've been doing in the past around data quality and lexicographical data, uh, to do one for data modeling, uh, where people like, uh, you from Wikivoyage could come um, and and bring up a challenge and discuss that uh, with the community. So that is something that I'm uh, going to bring up with the team and uh, see if we can make that happen. Thanks. And I think, yeah, I got a sign. <laughs> the time is over. I thank you very much. To <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and see you in one of the next sessions around. Thank you.